Today we are going to be learning about equivalent fractions. We use fractions when we want to show a part of something that has been divided into two or more parts. For example, here is a cookie. Suppose I want to eat only half of this cookie. So I have to divide it into two equal parts. But what number represents half a cookie? That is, for one cookie we use the number one. For two cookies we use the number two. What number should we use to represent only half of a cookie? That's correct. We use a fraction. And that fraction is one half. We can say that I ate one half of the cookie. As we can see, a fraction consists of two whole numbers, the numerator, in this case a 1, and the denominator, in this case a 2. But what do these numbers mean? It's very simple. The denominator tells us into how many parts is the cookie divided. In this case I divided it into two parts. And the numerator shows the number of parts that I ate. In this case I ate one part. That's why this fraction represents half of the cookie. Let's look at another example. Here is another cookie. Imagine that I divide this cookie into three equal parts. Now, suppose I ate two parts. What fraction of the cookie did I eat? As we saw, the cookie was divided into three parts. So, three is our denominator. I ate two parts. So, two is our numerator. So the answer is that I ate two-thirds of the cookie. Easy, right? Let's look at another example together. Imagine that you have four apples and you give one apple to your friend. What fraction of the four apples did you give? That's right. The answer is one-fourth. The denominator represents how many apples you had. And the numerator shows how many apples you gave to your friend. Let's look at another example. Suppose I have this cookie. And I divide it into four equal parts. And I eat three parts. What fraction of the cookie did I eat? You are right again. The answer is three-fourths. The denominator represents how many parts the cookie was divided into. I divided it into four parts. And the numerator represents how many parts I ate. I ate three parts. We can write the same fraction using different numbers. For example, one half is the same as two fourths. So we say that these two fractions are equivalent because they are the same. The word equivalent comes from the word equal. 
Let's check why these two fractions are equivalent. Here is a cookie. Imagine that I divide this cookie into two equal parts. And I eat one part, which is one half of the cookie. Here is another cookie. If I divide this cookie into four equal parts, and I eat two parts, that represents two fourths of the cookie. If we compare what I ate on the first cookie to what I ate on the second cookie, we can see that I actually eaten the same amount on both cookies. Because in the second cookie I ate two parts. But if we put them together, it's the same as half the cookie. And? Did you understand everything? Great. Let's look at another example together. On the one hand we have 6 eighths. And on the other we have 3 quarters. Could you tell if these two fractions are equivalent? The answer is yes, they are. Let's check why these two fractions are equivalent using two cookies. We split the first cookie into eight pieces. And we split the second cookie into four pieces. In the first cookie, we set aside six pieces. And in the second cookie, we set aside three pieces. If we compare both amounts, we see that they are actually the same. If we join the pieces, we will get the same shape. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.